Hello everyone, welcome to our YouTube channel My Project Ideas. Today we are going to make a Java project on catering management system. Let us begin. Let us first see the requirements. You will be requiring a Java IDE and a Swing module to create a good looking interface. Let's now understand the working of the source code. Here is my main method. I am creating an object of main screen class. This is the first screen that the user will see when the program starts. This is the UI. To create this UI, you need to go over here in the project package, click on new, then click on swing UI designer, then click on GUI form. These two files will be created, the main screen.java file, this dot form file. I have named it as main screen. This is the simple UI. I have just added the uh, button and uh, these two buttons and name them as customer and admin. These two buttons will redirect us to these forms, the admin form and the customer form. Let us now see the code of the main screen dot Java file. Okay, these uh, uh, fields will be added automatically and uh, I have created a uh, this uh, object of JFrame class and then this is my constructor. These are the lines that you will require once you uh, instantiate this object of main screen class. This form will get visible to the user. Okay, so you need to enter the uh, name of your panel over here. Uh, this set content uh, set content pane uh, takes the J panel as parameter. So you need to add your panel name over here, and uh, then you need to uh, pass true to this uh, method set visible okay and then i have created two listeners for this customer button and the admin button okay and i have passed a new uh, object of customer class and admin class okay let's see our admin class first this is the form and this is the file okay uh, in this form i have named the panel as okay let me change the name it's uh, admin panel okay this is my admin panel and uh, this is the name uh, this is a j label this is a table do not forget to add the table under the j scroll pane okay and this is a button for confirming the status these are the text fields and this is a combo box let's now understand the code this is the file admin file and these are the entries uh, the fields which will get automatically added and uh, again similar way uh, in the constructor provide this okay provide the name of the object of uh, jframe and then add the code okay and uh, whenever this admin class admin object will be created uh, this form will appear okay so and now in this form we have to add the functionality of uh, this confirm status okay so I am updating a table okay uh, I am passing this query update catering and setting the status or uh, status which I am getting over here from the J combo box okay and then uh, I am uh, uh, changing the name where my name okay the name and the location according to the name and location passed by the user and then making the connection pass your URL and the username and password and uh, I am using the prepared statement to execute the query then calling execute update and finally calling this uh, uh, show message dialog method to pop up a message uh, updated successfully okay and then finally calling this method uh, table data which I have created to display the data into the table from the uh, database okay and this is my listener mouse listener you can create one by going over here in the table okay right click and then click on create listener click on mouse listener okay it will be created so uh, I am just uh, getting the model table1.getModel and converting it in the default table model form 
and then storing it in this variable dm. Then I am uh, uh, selecting, uh, I am calling this method get selected row, uh, which will be, uh, which will select the index of the selected row, okay, and store it in this variable. And then I am calling the uh, set text methods because uh, uh, these text fields get uh, populated with the text uh, as you click on the table anywhere in the table so on a particular row whichever data is stored it will get uh, added in this text field so i am uh, setting the text in the name name data text field as dm.get value add this is a method inbuilt method in this uh, uh, variable okay and uh, it takes two parameters this selected row whichever row and whichever column you want to uh, input uh, extract from okay so it extract from the particular row and particular column and uh, convert the data to a string and then set the value to the name data text field similarly the location data okay I have named this uh, text fields as name data and location data. Okay, this is my method table data. Uh, what I'm doing here is just uh, uh, passing this uh, query over to the result set and uh, executing it and storing it in this variable and then setting the model. And uh, this is a method which I have created on my own, but uh, instead of this, you can what uh, you can do is uh, uh, call the db utils dot uh, table model result set to table model method okay it's the same uh, method which i have uh, made here okay so pass your result set over to that method and then you are done with this uh, file okay now let's move to the customer file this is the form that you will uh, get whenever you uh, press this button in the main screen customer okay so in similar way I have uh, uh, added these lines in the constructor okay pass this uh, object into the customer and call the similar methods and uh, uh, this is my UI this is the table you can see and these are the text fields combo box text field and over here is the date the delivery date okay this is a j panel with the border layout i have uh, named it as date delhi and uh, these are the buttons two buttons to order now and check the status okay so let's begin with the code uh, okay uh, these are required so uh, I'll, I have already told that whenever you create the object of customer class okay so this form will appear and now the functionality of the buttons add the create listeners of both the buttons this is my add button I am running a query this query so uh, what is it doing that uh, I am inserting values of name location meal type quantity delivery date price and status everything in this query uh, and uh, inserting the values into the table my table name is catering and uh, I'm using prepare statement to insert the query so this is the uh, these are the statements so for uh, if the data type is uh, string so you need to use set string if the data type is integer so you need to use set int okay add the index okay it starts from one first the index and then the data uh, my data is whichever data the user has entered in here okay name is name data location location data this is the combo box this is the data and here is my date okay so to add the calendar over here I have used this uh, jdate chooser okay this is my jdate chooser and I am adding, uh, I have named my panel this date panel as date daily. So uh, I am uh, using this line date daily dot add and adding this date chooser so that 
uh, this panel will get the calendar okay uh, okay let's now move on to the code this add button code okay i'm uh, adding the data from uh, the text fields name location and the type selected and the quantity and uh, this is my uh, okay fifth one is delivery delivery date okay this is my date over here and then the amount and then i am setting my this string status to waiting for confirmation okay so it's only get updated in the admin form whenever the user uh, press this uh, the admin press this button confirm status okay uh, on a part, uh, particular name and location then only it gets changed otherwise it will uh, remain as waiting for confirmation okay then i am updating everything and uh, placing the order uh, message to the user and uh, setting all the uh, values to null okay similarly uh, this order now button and uh, this is a check status button check status button uh, what it does that uh, uh, it checks uh, the status of the uh, user okay so for a particular name and location the user has entered okay select all from catering where name and location according to the text you have entered okay it will check the status it will uh, get the uh, data from the table okay so in similar way i am uh, uh, storing this in result set and then i am running this uh, check so if, if there is anything in the table so print it okay set, set the model and if there is nothing so uh, pop up the message no customer found okay and then uh, catching the error and then showing the message no customer found similar way i have added a listener over here so so that on clicking in the table the data gets uh, the text fields get populated with data okay uh, let's uh, run this program okay here's my main screen let's check the admin panel okay i have added two entries over here okay and uh, this one uh, you see this uh, listener is working the mouse listener is working okay so my uh, this second data is uh, uh, confirmed okay i have uh, updated this and this one is in waiting so uh, okay let's uh, let's check this customer panel okay there is nothing so let me add one uh, one order uh, from the name aman location add delhi and meal type as this and quantity for 10 delivery with date of 27 okay and order now okay it gets removed okay there's uh, you can uh, add the listener I'll, uh, i'm not updating the quantity you can update that also and uh, let's check the status okay you need to add the same data location was Delhi okay its uh, status is waiting for confirmation okay let's now confirm this okay here's uh, my data and uh, if you press this it gets updated okay this gets updated and we can also see over here okay this is working uh, 
okay this is it i hope you understood the working of the code thanks for watching subscribe to our channel for more interesting project ideas Thank you.